Well, I'm off to St Abbs heading the Scottish borders today. Uh, today is a Monday, so I wouldn't expect anybody to be here. But I've got the heavy gear today because I'm after Ras and hopefully a big Pollock, some nice cod on the spinners. Uh, and I'm sick of losing, sick of losing fish on the very, very light gear. So uh, I've stepped up, big reel, heavy braid, big Ras. I hope. I went to Berwick and I've went and got uh, quite a few peeler crabs and some small hardback crabs to try for bait. Well, I'm a little bit out of breath because I'm going up a hill. Uh, I will really be out of breath a bit later, I imagine. But uh, take a look at the view. Well, the first thing to go out today is uh, the big shiny metal lure, 60 gram silver minnow. Uh, got a big treble hook on it, so if I catch a nice cod or pollock, it's probably not going to get off unless I catch it in the side of the head. But we'll give this one a whirl. This is the first cast of the day. A bit wrapped up my line there. There, yeah, we'll give it the first cast and see how it goes. I say I've got the heavier rod and reel today. Shimano Nexave 6000. I've got 40 pound braid on. And I've got my Shimano Nexave bass rod, 11 foot. This one's rated two to four ounce. And it's 11 foot six. I've had some nice fish in the past on this. So I know it'll handle anything. I didn't really want to bring all the light gear and stuff today. Because I, I want to catch a few fish, show you have a good video and I've lost a few fish on the lake here recently so it's a bit frustrating Quite deep here, I'm letting it sink right to the bottom. I'm gonna jig the lure along the bottom at first, see if there's a cod. And then I'll get her up about halfway, and we'll hopefully the pollock will have it. Uh, first fish, just a little coley to start. Well, that's the first coddling of the day. It's not a very big one, but it's a start. The tide's starting to come in now, so I'm a bit more hopeful. We'll get a few more. a 
fair old struggle today unfortunately uh, not many fish at all and what I've been catching is just small there's a half decent coley for you anyway hopefully I can get a bigger one some nice cod or something well after all that effort things were pretty quiet so I packed in and decided to head to Eyemouth in the hope of some better fishing a couple of days later So at 6 o'clock in the morning I'm at Eyemouth going to fish some marks along at the golf course uh, hopefully catch some wrasses, uh, pollock, possibly cod. Um, I'm going to try a bit lure fishing first and save me bait. I've got a few packets of ragworm. I'm going to save me bait for later. Low tide's at 9am. Uh, so I'm just going to lure fish until about 12. Then I'm possibly going to head off to another mark which I know fishes quite well at high tide for wrasses. Uh, but it's really snaggy so I've got a bit heavier gear today than what I would usually use um, so wish me luck and tight lines it's a lovely day for it by the way forecast to get up to about 21 22 degrees actually it does get quite hot in Scotland in the summer at times also rains <laughs> quite a lot so I've got my waterproofs just in case but hopefully I'll not need them today uh, I'll just let you have a look at some of the scenery as I walk to the mark enjoy Okay, so I'm all set up on the mark now at Eyemouth. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit of spinning first, see if I can catch a coley or a pollock or even a cod. I always like to uh, get the metals out first and see if there's any fish about. I've got a bait out as well, just drop down the side a bit of ragworm just to see if there's any rust kicking about at the moment. The rod I'm using at the moment is the Abu Devil. It's 10 foot and it's a 40, 80, 40 to 80 gram rod. Only about 40 quid, so it's quite a cheap rod, but I've used it a couple of times already and it hasn't let me down yet. Got a very cheap reel as well. It's a Shimano Sienna 4000, loaded with 20 pound braid. 20 pound braid is connected to a swivel, and then I've got three foot of mono to me, to me lua. So we'll see how we'll get on. I'll just trim that bit of line and then we'll have a cast. Nice little red codlin there. Haven't had much success today to be honest. Just had a couple of coalies and lost a couple of fish. Uh, but that's the first one I've managed to get in properly. So hopefully I can get a ras. I'm on my ras mark now. I'll give up with the other mark at low tide earlier on. So see how we get on.
Well there we go finally. Managed to get where I was after. It's my first Ross this year. So it's always really happy for me when I, I finally catch me Ross. First first Ross of the year. It's not a big one. It's only about a pound, maybe it's a pound and a bit. But uh, I put it straight back, it's a beautiful coloured one mine. And the colours on that. Nice and red so get in. Happy days. Let's see if I can catch a few more. Maybe just get its daddy. Yeah, well, absolutely awesome. I've been trying uh, Mariyuku ice worm worms, trying to catch a rat. Haven't managed to catch a rat yet, but uh, bang bang, nice little codling on them. So I don't see why the rats won't have them as well. We'll keep trying, and if I catch a rat on the lure, that'll be my first. That'll make me day. Fantastic. I'll get the little fella straight back. Well, I'm having quite a bit of fun now catching uh, small coalies on small amounts of ragworm on my little LRF, or LRF type rod. So I'm going to keep the camera rolling. We'll see what happens. Soon or later, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get nailed by a ras. So, see how we we'll go. It's just hit the bottom. What I'm doing is I'm slowly moving the bait, giving it a little jig. Wait. Just another coli. Might have to work through these little buggers until we get something a bit bigger or better. Well, unfortunately, it didn't quite happen for us this weekend. Uh, I visited Eyemouth, caught a few small fish. Visited St. Abbs, put a lot of effort into it, and again, just caught small fish. I caught my first ras of the year, so I'm happy about that. It's fish and fire, though, unfortunately. You can't guarantee the fish. I was hoping to promise you big cod and big pollock and some nice ras, but for whatever reason, it just did not appear. But, 
knowing me I'll be back out again try again and uh, next time hopefully I'll get a few fish in about a month's time I'm hoping to go to the Isle of Skye um, if all the, the hotels and the campsites and stuff open back up yeah so I'll be up there and uh, that should be a really good trip I'll be taking the video camera and I've got company on me trip as well with a fella called Tony uh, he's first time up the Isle of Skye it's only my second but I really enjoyed it the first time I went and really couldn't wait to get back so look out for my next video which will probably be about the Isle of Skye that'll be around about the first week of August uh, until then tight lines have fun catch a few fish <laughs>